Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss about randomized block design using our Agrar package. So I already imported my data and my data contains three columns. The first one is treatment and uh, I have 10 treatments and four uh, replications or block. Then again followed by the response variable G which stands for grain yield. So in order to compute the randomized complete block design, you have to uh, incorporate the package, then you have to use the function with followed by RD, that means the data name, and followed by the DBC. DBC is a function that helps us to compute the randomized block design in this package, then followed by the uh, columns that contains the treatment, columns that contains the block or replication, columns that contains the response variable. Then if you want to uh, to uh, write the x-axis and the y-axis title, you have to use a function while I end uh, Excel up respectively, and uh, well, for, in fact, uh, my treatment is genotype, so I assigned to its genotype and uh, grain yield, which is in the form of kilogram per hectare for the y axis. So, C is equal to true means it will dis uh, the bar plot will uh, display uh, the p value along to the coefficient of variation in, in percentage. And admin means uh, it helps uh, to uh, either uh, to display the mean value in a box plot or in a bar plot. So add mean is equal to false means it will discard the mean value from the bar or box plot. Then take a size which helps us to increase the x-axis and the y-axis as well as the, uh, the genotype of the treatment name. And level size is if uh, the uh, treatment if the treatment is significant. So there is a, a grouping. There is a letter. Uh, so in order to increase or decrease their value, you have to use a function label dot size. Or you can trace back my uh, previous tutorial regarding to the agro packaging CRG design, you, you will get a detailed information. Then uh, the other difference is one here is the superscript at the distance between the top of the error bar and uh, the uh, point at which the uh, significant letter displayed. So in the previous, if you remember, it's around 0.05. But in our case, uh, here is 100 because the response variable in the grain yield is uh, reach up to 3,000 kilograms per hectare. So the number is uh, too huge. So you have to increase the number from 0.05 to 100 or you have to cascade up on your response uh, variable value. Then the other thing is, um, if you remember in the previous tutorial, I only uh, analyze or I only display the result in the form of a bar plot. But if you add here is a geometry or geom, which colors to box, and instead of getting a bar plot, you will get a box plot. Then again, uh, here is stem which colors to stem under score classic. Uh, this this function will work uh, when you enable the ggplot, so you have to run ggplot uh, first here. And there are a number of ways uh, like uh, tem classic, tem bw, tem gray, tem uh, classic 2, and etc. So you can set a number of uh, temps. For example, let's show you here is uh, um, tem bw, tem classic, tem dark, tem get, tem gray. So you can change this tem classic upon or on the basis of your uh, preference. Then homoge mean, is equal to bt means that you are going to check your homoge intervariance using the Bartlett test. Then uh, if you are not interested in the Bartlett test, you can convert from bt into leaven for uh, checking your homoge intervariance among the group using the leaven test. Then field is called to treat. Uh, I have 10 genotype or 10 treatments, so I am expecting to have uh, 10 uh, different uh, colors for the box uh, plot. So in order to do on the number of uh, genotypes or on the number of treatments that you have, so you have to specify here is straight. Don't change this into other things. Just use as it is. And if you are interested uh, in the sole color, so you, you, you can type red or green or blue, whatever you want. So type this and submit to our studio. Okay, already is not uh, imported. Yeah, let's import it from desktop. Just found in the desktop. Yeah, R. 
yes already then let's import it i thought that i was ex uh, i imported then uh, let's uh, run so all things are similar to the previous uh, analysis that means crd it will give you the nor normality it will give you homogeneity of variance again it will give you independence from error again it will give you detailed information about uh, the design or it means cv like mean median and outliers again analysis of variance again the mean multiple uh, comparison so here is uh, uh, here is our uh, box uh, plot yeah let's zoom in yeah this is uh, uh, all about uh, today's tutorial uh, regarding to randomized complete block design in agro uh, packet as usual uh, if you have any question or suggestion uh, or any comment you can use my uh, youtube comment box or alternatively uh, my email address and i will put the code and the data for your uh, practice see you soon